We as people create over 51 million tonnes of e-waste every year. But it's the journey that technology takes after its useful life to them that really defines how sustainable a business is or isn't. And any sustainability goals or net zero ambitions that an organisation has are defined by how it disposes or manages the life cycle of the technology that it has. Hello, my name is Patrick Adcock. I am the Operations Director of Restore Technology. Every week, we receive thousands of technology assets, the majority of which are mainly data bearing. We track, identify and process each asset from our customers to identify which is the best process for each. Too often, e-waste just goes directly to landfill. And our work at Restore Technology goes a long way to preventing that. To ensure the security of any residual data left on assets collected from our customers, we have a system that allows us to plug customer assets directly into our network to determine the make, model and serial number and what components are present and of what type they are. Once this is complete, the data erasure process can start. This can consist of a single wipe or a multiple wipe process depending on the customer requirements. By securely wiping data from assets, this allows us to extend the life of something that would typically go to destruction. Good assets go on to be repurposed and reused and damaged and irreparable assets go on to be recycled. Even when an asset is visibly damaged with a cracked screen, we still have the capability to put it through our process to ensure that all data is securely erased. When an asset is processed and identified as being for recycling, it is transferred to our recycling area where it is sorted into the correct category and then transferred to our recycling centre in Bristol. Hi, I'm Quentin Jackson. I'm the Commercial Director and Security Controller for Restore Technology. When an asset is received at our Bristol site from our other facilities, it's triaged and then broken down into a component level of plastics, metals, circuit boards and cables. Data bearing media that are removed from assets will be segregated and moved to our secure area for shredding. The individual components are moved to our dispatch area to then sent on to our downstream specialist partners for further processing. Non-hazardous plastics will then be repurposed for manufacturing. The precious metals can then be reclaimed from the circuit boards. No business can be truly committed to net zero or sustainability without truly managing their IT life cycle. I have a young daughter who aspires to be a marine biologist. She's been inspired by David Attenborough and every day she challenges me on what my impact and contribution is towards net zero and a sustainable future. I'm proud to be part of the Restore Technology team where our focus truly is on minimising e-waste.